How do I incorporate heat and sauna therapy into my weekly fitness routine? Well, uh, you don't. You, you really just don't. There's very minimal evidence that sauna uh, is, or red light therapy, or heat therapy, or shock therapy, or cold therapy, cold plunges, all that actually is helpful. There's actually evidence that cold therapy or cold plunges actually reduces muscle growth. The studies that people quote sometimes when it comes to um, sauna therapy is, oh, it causes a 50% reduction in this and a 60% reduction in that. Generally, those are observational studies that there's a lot of healthy user bias uh, incorporated in it. When people use sauna four to seven times a week, they're generally people who have a lot of money and a lot of time and are generally healthy anyways. They're doing the the sprinting, they're doing the weightlifting, they're doing the, you know, eating a Mediterranean style diet, keeping saturated fat low. They're doing all of these things. So it's it, it's it's usually healthy user bias that is resulting in this. There was a large meta-analysis done on sauna where they had people do sauna um, for an eight week period of time and they wanted to see if endothelial function improved, if arterial stiffness improved, if LDL cholesterol improved, if any of these things improved, and they found, although it was a short study, that none of those things actually changed or matter. Now you can't you know, say, well, what about if you did this for decades? Well, if you did that for decades, again, you probably are one of these super healthy users that has the time, money, energy, effort to eat good food, run, live a healthy lifestyle, do all that kind of stuff, which is probably what's happening. So don't fall for these people that are like, you gotta do acupuncture, you gotta wear red light masks, you gotta do sauna and cold plunges and mix your water with you know, magic wands and all that. Not that I'm saying he's saying all of that, this is just an, an example of when people misconstrue data and findings and want to you know, take a little finding here and there and kind of like overreach with it. You know, a, a sauna study that looked at people in, in Finland or the Finnish study, for example, like I said, a lot of healthy user bias in that study. When they actually did a randomized control trial on people um, where they had an intervention as doing sauna, none of those things uh, actually improved. So sauna is fun. I got one myself. Um, it doesn't, you know, I don't, I don't do it because I think it has healthy, you know, benefits of any kind. It's just kind of fun, sort of like massage, acupuncture, those things. They relax you, you know, maybe reduce stress a little, blood pressure a little, what have you. But there's no long-term good data that this is superior or reduces cardiovascular event rates or anything like that.